Welcome to the Daily Break Mind. My name is Dorcas Andrew. On this channel, our slogan is Yielded and Deliberate. Yielded to Christ, deliberate with our actions. New guys, thank you for watching. If it's your first time, and don't forget to like, subscribe, be a part of our community. A community that is big on yielding to Christ, ready to yield to Christ and be deliberate with their actions, not to live anyhow, just the way so many persons do, but to do very great things and achieve good results. Okay, thank you. So we're going to be getting down to brass tacks. Help! I keep failing! That's it. That's what the title of the video says. Failing in what aspects? It depends. I keep failing on achieving my goals. I keep failing. When I say I want to serve God, I find myself failing, going back after being a good person for a while. Of course, no one is a good person. Only Christ is good. But I keep failing to do the things I want to do. And those ones I say I don't want to do, I find myself like a dog who goes back to his vomit. I find myself going back to them. And at some points, some persons are like, okay, this intentional living thing, this journey of intentional living is not, it was not meant for me after all. Like, I am not doing this again. And they go back to their vomit fully and they continue to behave anyhow, go back to being very bad or worse than they were in the past. It can be discouraging to feel. You would not blame them. But I want to tell you something. I need to tell you how I've been able to walk around this because I used to be somebody who I made some mistakes in my life and at a point in my life before I felt God does not need me again like I am in a terrible shape I don't think I can be good or something but the time came I said I began working intentionally and I told myself there are things you have to do things you don't have to do and one of my agents is seven God but even right now, serving God and living deliberately, but even right now, I still find myself failing in some ways. I still find myself failing in some ways. And when I want to be so bad, you know, get into this form of guilt that I'm not able to, you know, do anything right, I was able to build a system to come up with something now that helps me, an approach that helps me. And I want to share the approach with you. We are just going to, 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 to talk about them using points. Number one, when you observe that while being deliberate, you keep failing to be that good person you want to be, don't beat yourself up too much. The first thing is to accept the fact that you're a human. As a human, you should permit yourself, you should know that you can screw up. There will be days when you will screw up. Don't be too hard on yourself. Sometimes we measure ourselves with metrics that are too high. We even compare ourselves to people. We go so, very bad things to do. We find ourselves comparing ourselves with people. I'm like, I should tell you something. I have observed that those things you find it, um, you, you, you know, you find it very difficult to achieve. There are some persons who don't find it difficult. Some persons find it easier to stick to their plans better than some persons. So if you're that person who finds it very difficult to stick to your plans, it's just you. It's your nature. So don't compare yourself with that other person who you feel is getting it right. Self-comparison is very, very wrong. So accept that you're human. Accept that I was very big on bad attitudes before. So for me to run now, I don't expect it to be a magical thing or an automatic thing. When I screw up, I should not beat myself too much because I know where I am coming from. And the next thing you have to do, you should learn to forgive yourself. There's a guilt that comes with failing all the time. And that guilt, believe me, it is there to make you stay down. It says you fucked up and you are down. Stay down. That guilt makes you beat yourself. It makes some persons go into depression, into a depressed state. It makes even some persons to go as much as long as taking their lives or indulging in the bad habits they were indulging in more than they were doing. And it ruins them. So forgive yourself. 
yeah maybe you've told god i don't want to do this i don't want to fornicate i don't want to do this and you begin doing it ask god for forgiveness and then forgive yourself it's very imperative to forgive yourself don't live with the guilt forgive yourself how did i get here i'm sorry okay i forgive myself for going back i forgive myself for not sticking to the plan i forgive myself for breaking my resolve forgive yourself and when you forgive yourself you have to evaluate the situation there used to be an adage when i was growing up that a young child would hit his leg on the stone and would not look at what made him fall he would just go so how does he learn from the fall he would not look like, like look at what how he fell what what the object of his fall was you as somebody who is deliberate and intentional with your actions have to evaluate it why did i fall at what point did i lose my grip on the goal at what point did i lose my my my, my gaze on the goal you understand so you have to evaluate the situation and immediately you're done evaluating it don't do that for so long evaluate it look at it i'm not going to do this again i don't have to do this i did this it made me do this so immediately you start running again i have been able to build to, to, to I've been able to get a, a, a level of agreement with myself that you don't stay guilt tripping yourself for so long and that is why you find you might find out that I might go to bed a very depressed and broken person unhappy because I have faulted I faulted myself but at night I wake up in the middle of the night and just on my on my uh, on the bed like that i begin to talk to myself Ducks, why did you do this i meet myself i talk to myself again how did you get here to this point like where you are big on going back to where you were they're breaking to go back to where you were before and you t i tell myself i forgive you i tell myself it's time to run again you can't stay here it's time to run again and in the morning when you see me i'm very energetic i want to fight again i want to fight again yes i want to fight again because although i fucked up it doesn't define me i should not stay there i should learn from my mistakes and i should run afresh learn from your mistakes evaluate them but don't let them keep you down begin to run again begin to run immediately you find out that this is bad it's a bad situation run again God himself is not judging the way you are judging. He's not looking at you like the terrible person you feel you are. He gives you chances. He helps you. He looks at you and he pities. He sees your struggles. So don't be hard on yourself. I used to tell people not to. Don't stay there. You don't need it at all. So to do and you run, 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 run again. And there is one thing with being consistent with something that action you strive to continue to do and everything a time will come when you will become big on it a time will come where you would begin to fail minimally or you will have zero failures but wait can we really have zero failures for minimal yes but zero i don't think from my own opinion i think there is no way you will stay without failing but i want to hear from you because this is not a monologue section i just don't want to be the only person talking i want your opinions about this topic so tell me do you think we can be like that it is possible not to fail at all zero failure please if you think so or if you think otherwise let me get that in the comment section i would appreciate it a lot i'd love to hear from you okay so if you have questions too you can write me you can drop it in the se uh, comment section or contact me personally um i'll drop, drop my email in the comment section and then you can write me you can reach out to me and i want you to know that god is written for you we are building a community where we want a lasting community of support we want to support each other and i want to be there for you while you are also there for me too so you can contact me and i want you to know that i love you i want you to know that irrespective of the shape you're in or how much you failed that you can still stand on your feet again and you can reach that goal it does not matter how far what matters is how well and that someday you get there my name is Dr. Sandro. I hope to hear from you. 
I love you. When I say so, it comes from a special place in my heart. Hoping to see you again. You got value from here and you have people who you think should listen or watch this video. Listen to me speak. Kindly share or tell them to, 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 to watch the video. Subscribe. Click the notification bell thing so you get also notified each time I drop a video. I do love you. I hope to see you next time. Be blessed. Stay you there and deliberate with your action. Ciao, ciao. Bye.